Welcome into the 11 Warriors Web Report. Listen, guys, this is um, this is this is a, an idea of expectations, right? And and one thing that I think is important is because we live in in the bubble of of Ohio State and Columbus and and what you're judged against, right? And it's a harsh judgment. You live this. You yes. know how hard it is. You can be a great team. You win by 23 instead of 43, and people are going, "What's wrong with Ohio State?" Um, so let's tackle that first. Is that appropriate to be judged to that standard at Ohio State? Yeah, I think so. It ain't for everybody. You know, winning is right. not for everybody. Being successful is not for everybody. So I think it is appropriate. But we do have to understand that we're dealing with young people here. We're dealing with actual humans here. So, you know, there's a certain level of, hey, you guys should be doing better, but not to get disrespectful. But this team, obviously, they have a way to go. And we know that there is so much more improvement. They've got so much left in the tank. And so for us to sit here and say, all right, well, you beat Indiana by 23, but we didn't like the way you did it and it should have been more, I think that's appropriate. Yeah, I mean, you, you covered the Clemson program before this one as they were reaching into that point. And we talked, you know, during the show a little bit about how there's only four or five programs that are like this, that it's, it's Ohio State, it's Oklahoma, it's Clemson, it's obviously Alabama, and, and then maybe Georgia gets into that. But there's a couple that are just on a different level, and if you're going to be in that group, then you're, you're graded against a different curve. Absolutely, and it's, it's like Josh said. You, you come to play football at Ohio State, you know you know this is part of the equation. Yeah. You know you, you, you sign up for this. So so this is. It, it is the expectation. The expectation at Ohio State is you're supposed to be competing for Alabama. You're supposed to be competing for national titles. And, and that's the curve that everybody's grading this team against. But, you know, I, I also don't think we want to totally lose perspective here. Ohio State is 6-0. and They've taken care of business. They've done what they need to do. There's no question they need to get better, and there's a lot of things that they need to work on. But we still don't want to lose perspective of the fact that they have won every game. That they're doing better than they did last year, and they still have all their goals in front of them. Yeah, absolutely so. And, and, and I think one of those things that, that's really interesting, because we are not going to play a ranked team until Michigan. It's just the fact of the schedule. It shakes out that way. And I think it's interesting because nationally, when I was listening to, to national college football, people talk about Ohio State over Indiana. They're saying Buckeyes dominate Hoosiers because <laughs> it's, it's that old thing of, if you think of the old days for the kids out there, you used to wait until Sunday morning and you'd look at the box scores of college football. And you just look at the score and you look at the stats. You go, oh, Haskins, 455, six touchdowns. They win 49-26. Buckeyes handle their business. That's critical over the next five weeks because people are going to be watching these games because these are not headline games. So these are games other than Buckeye fans that, that aren't going to be paid attention to. So how do you win the bottom line? How do you win on the television screen when you see it? Oh, Buckeye's 56-6. to six. That's fantastic. Keep looking the part. Yeah, uh, I will say some people might be watching that night game against Purdue. It's Apparently, it's going to be a big one now since it's a night game. But uh, <laughs> how did that end up being a prime I mean, What are we talking about? I mean, I know we've delivered ratings because of who we are, but Purdue? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, these guys got to go out and handle business. Uh, you, you have to look at it from you can't you can't judge yourself against a score whether you beat a team. Yeah. You have to judge yourself against your goals. So if, if your defense, you're supposed to hold them to a, under 100 yards rushing, you need to do that. They can't get over 200 in the air. You need to do that. Offense, you need to move the ball, convert all of your third downs. Like, all of those things are what you measure against because the score is going to be what it is, and you're going to get Ws, but if you're not doing it the way that you expect to be doing it, it's going to put you behind when it's time to play a real team. The last thing I'll say is, then this is for the coaching staff, if Dwayne Haskins is within 10 yards of that <laughs> passing record, for the love of all that is holy and sacred, let him get it. Let him have the yards, please. We've got a felon holding the record for 40 years. Let Dwayne have it. He's close. <laughs> Please, one more completion. That's a hard one to get to. It stood for almost four years, Schleister's record. It's time for it to be held by somebody else. Let's get that done. That was the 11warriors.com web report. We'll see you guys next week.